Physicists and engineers are problem solvers. They look for patterns in the world and relate it to their knowledge of such patterns to solve problems. Now, you may have run into word problems in previous math or science courses, and whether you found these word problems difficult or easy, you will be a master of solving word problems by the time you finish this course. All future courses and jobs with problem solving involved in them will be much easier for you. Let's begin our discussion on some problem solving strategies. The way to start the solving of a problem is to organize what you know and what you don't know. Basically, translate the wordy problem into something easier to work with. For example, a car passes a bystander going 100 kilometers per hour, and 20 seconds later it passes another bystander, but this time going 120 kilometers per hour. What was the average acceleration? So let's lay out what we know. Get organized. V0, also called VI in some textbooks, represents the original or initial velocity. It's the velocity at the start of our event. Now let's talk about the event. When we say event, we're talking about a period of time over which a change has taken place here. We could consider an event to have happened from when the car started originally to when it got to the first bystander, and this would be a legitimate event. We could also consider an event to be from the passing of the first bystander to the passing of the second bystander, and this is also a legitimate event. Considering that we don't know anything about when or where the car originally started, and we have all the information about when it passed each bystander, Let's consider our event to be the second option, that is from when it passed the first bystander to when it passed the second. Therefore, our V0 is 100 kilometers per hour. While we're listing our variables, we might as well put them into our standard unit. So a quick conversion here, and we're done. So on to the next variable, Vf, or our final velocity. Since our event ends with the passing of the second bystander, Vf must be 120 kilometers per hour. And again, we'll convert it into standard units. What else do we know? We see that time of the event is 20 seconds. That is the time from which it passed the first bystander to when it passed the second. Other variables that might be of interest would be the d or displacement, the distance that the car traveled between the first bystander and the second bystander, but we don't know that at this point, so we'll just put a question mark. Also, we don't know the acceleration, but that's what we're looking for. So at this point, we have all of our variables laid out, what we know and what we don't know. Much easier to look over. So we can move ahead to solving the problem, but I'm going to stop there for now and emphasize that organizing yourself like this is very helpful for moving forward in the solving of a problem. I will expect each of your problems to include this step.